Diary, hello. It's the beginning of May 2021 and you join uh, myself and the helper in our study where we are going to discuss the restoration of our vintage computer which is sitting just here. Now on the face of it this is just a story about an ethernet cable and I'm going to point the cable out. It is just here. But actually it's uh, also a story about incremental improvement really. Um, so I think all of these things are helpful in context. So we'll establish the context, which is that you're looking at, um, apart from my wonderful helper, we are looking at uh, a vintage computer, which is something like 40 years old. So let's have a little look here. Let's zoom in on this vintage computer. Now this was designed in the days before Ethernet and the design in the days of a very um, unreliable, uh, in retrospect, hard drives and floppy drives. So 40 years on, the, um, the way this is working is that we have a wonderful hard drive emulator, which you can see down here. And the first uh, thing to say is that this, this uh, computer moved about four years ago with this external hard drive emulator and lots of ribbon cables going into this computer, and it moved to England here. Um, we've had a lot going on. And I can tell you that this electronics card has been sitting there with lots of room cables for over three years. But now, finally, at the end of our smart home project, I have some more time. And so the first massive improvement, the first massive optimization was I've somehow managed to fit this hard drive emulator into the chassis of the computer. So can you see that? You see where that Ethernet cable is? there is mounted the card. It was a lot of engineering jiggling and wiggling went on and you actually have to take the whole of this plate out and you have to unscrew it and you have to make more, more holes to actually fit on an aluminium plate this extra hard drive card but eventually it went in. So let's take this away. So improvement, massive improvement number one was that the computer didn't have an electronics card sticking outside of it which um, Princess had the habit of interfering with. And then the, the, uh, the computer looked so much cleaner. So that was a massive step forward. But my Ethernet cable was trailing around the outside. Uh, I've been looking at it for the last week or two. And yesterday I thought, wait just a minute. Why don't I wire the Ethernet cable inside the chassis? So optimization number two was to use this ethernet cable inside the chassis. The other one didn't seem to fit and it wasn't quite long enough. So I had to use a longer ethernet cable. You can see how fat this ethernet cable and the turn radius on this, on this uh, connector here. Yeah, obviously all good ethernet cables have got like a metal, a metal frame here. Um, I suppose the cheap ethernet cables and it just wouldn't fit. So I ordered a flat ethernet cable with a much smaller end. And here it is. Here's the finished result. There you are. There's the ethernet cable installed. We're gonna take the top off so you can see just how messy it must have been when the cables were sticking outside. Let's have a look. Okay. So, uh, and this computer will obviously be the subject of another much more detailed video. So you can see we've got the hard drive emulator, which sits here. It's a solid state hard drive emulator. There's the ethernet cable going out. And this is actually a small Linux computer with an electronics card added to it. Um, so the hard drive can be controlled by a Linux set of commands. And that, that Linux set of commands and the communication to the Linux computer only, i.e. not to this computer, because this computer cannot have ethernet because it predates ethernet is via this. So this ethernet line is really only being used to start the hard drive and manipulate the hard drive, but still it's very important. All of these ribbon cables before were sticking out here. So you can imagine how messy it was. So now it is absolutely beautiful. There's no chance that printers are gonna knock into the cable and run amok. We've got the top on there. Ah. Oh. Doesn't it look just great? Just great. 
So there you are. It's a story about optimization, a story about why didn't I do that earlier, and a story about why didn't I think about that earlier. Um, but these things are engineered, and in engineering, we tend to take little short steps. So this is my two little steps. Firstly, incorporate the card in the machine. And secondly, get that Ethernet cable looking as nice as I can. Thanks for watching, Derry.